the frictional force on the box is. So the first thing we're going to do is to recognize what this question is asking for. So they want to know what the frictional force is. So we have to recall that the force due to friction is equal to the coefficient of either static or kinetic friction, depending on what type it is, given by mu. And that is times the normal force gives us the force due to friction. So we want to solve for mu times Fn. Now, if we're given that the coefficient of kinetic friction along the surface is mu, the problem is here is solving for the normal force. So in order to solve for the normal force, we have to draw out the free body diagram. So we have to label all the forces acting on this block here. So we know that we have mg, its weight is acting downward. Now if we look at the components of our applied force, we would see we have an x component in the positive x direction to the right, and we have a y component in the negative y direction, so down. So we have F applied, the X component to the right, and we have the Y component of F applied pointing downward. Now the resultant, due to the interaction with the forces pushing down on the surface, results in a normal force pointing in the positive Y direction. Now in order to solve for this normal force, we have to apply Newton's second law. So the net force is equal to MA, is Newton's second law. So that's Newton's second law. Now we're going to apply this for the y-axis. So the net force in the y-direction is equal to MAY. But now we realize that this block is not going to leave the surface, so that tells us that it's not accelerating up or down. So our acceleration in the y direction is equal to zero, giving us the sum of all the forces is equal to zero. If we now add up all these forces here that we're shown, we would have Fn. Now in the negative direction would be mg and our y component of the applied force. And if we add those all together, we get a value of zero. Now, in order to solve for the normal force, we add both mg and the y component of our applied force to the other side, giving us fn is equal to mg plus the applied force and the y component of that. Now, we come into the problem of what is the applied force in the y direction. So if we go through this, we would see that by applying Sokotoa, we would get sine of theta is equal to the y component of the applied force over the applied force. And in doing so, we see that our y component of our applied force is equal to the applied force times the sine of theta. If we now plug that into the equation for our normal force, we would get the normal force is equal to mg plus our applied force times the sine of theta. Now, in order to solve for the force due to friction, where F force of friction is equal to mu Fn, we would see that our force due to friction is equal to mu. We're now just going to simply plug in for what Fn is, which is going to be mg plus force applied times the sine of theta. So here it is. Our force of friction is equal to mg plus force applied sine of theta, all of that times mu. So now we all, all we have to do is find the answer that corresponds to that. And we see that the answer is A.